Do solar and batteries pay for themselves, or is free solar just a scam? In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the numbers behind a solar and storage installation to see if this technology can really pay for itself. And make sure that you watch till the end, because I'm going to be teaching you how you can purchase this equipment at the lowest possible price. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're going to be talking about how fast do solar and batteries pay for themselves. Uh, and of course, it really depends on what type of system you install and how much you pay to have that system installed. Now, why do people install solar and batteries anyway? Well, the first reason, and traditionally, it was for emergency backup or for off-the-grid purposes. So let's say you wanted to prepare your home to be able to survive a loss of the electric grid Installing solar and batteries allow you to, to do that in a renewable fashion. You could directly power the home during daylight hours using solar power. Any excess solar could be charged into a bank of batteries, and then you could run the house off of battery power during the evening, and then the next day the solar panels take over, powering the house and recharging the battery. And you could repeat that cycle as many times as needed, whether you're fully off-grid or just preparing your house to survive a grid-down event. And that's why, why many people, myself included, consider solar and battery storage the most secure power supply for emergency preparedness. But the other reason that people install solar and batteries is to save money. So if you have a solar and battery system, even if your home is connected to the electric grid, if your electric company does not offer a one-for-one -one net metering buyback program, you can use the solar and battery system for self-consumption. Now, when we talk about a solar buyback program or a net metering program, what we mean is essentially your relationship with the power company is a two-way relationship. So during daylight hours, you can directly power the home on solar, and then all of your excess solar electricity can be sent back or sold back to the power company, earning you credits on your account so that during the evening hours when the solar panels are no longer producing, you can pull energy back in from the power company using the credits that you earned that day and everything should net out to zero. Now, of course, the issue is that recently, uh, particularly in places like California, Texas, and Arizona, uh, recently the power companies are no longer offering the one-for-one -one net metering buyback. And so, for example, in some places in California, you may have to send the utility four or five or six kilowatt hours of electricity during daytime for every one that you get to pull back during the evening. And so for that reason, many homeowners are choosing to install solar with battery storage so that instead of having to sell your excess solar at a discounted rate during daytime, you simply charge your excess solar into a bank of batteries and then you can draw off the battery during evening hours so that you can self-consume as much of that solar electricity as possible. But then the third way that you can use a solar and battery system uh, is for peak rate avoidance or for peak load shifting. Now, for those of you that are watching this in Arizona, California, you know exactly what I'm talking about. During certain hours of the day, the power company jacks up the electric rate because that's the time during which electricity is in highest demand. So for example, if we look at San Diego, during the hours of 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., those are considered the on-peak hours, and you could pay double the rate of electricity as you do during off-peak hours. Uh, again, this is when there's the highest demand for electricity. Air conditioner is running the hardest, uh, people are getting home from work, they're cooking dinner. If they drive an electric vehicle, maybe they're getting back, parking their vehicle, and plugging it in to recharge. And because there's such a high demand for electricity during that time, simple supply and demand that the price goes up to adjust for it. So one way you can utilize your solar and battery system to maximize your payback is to self-consume during those peak rate hours. You don't necessarily have to self-consume all of your electricity, but if you have enough battery storage to consume your usage during that 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. peak rate window, then you can avoid incurring the penalty or incurring that higher charge from the power company. Here, let's take a look at an example with some numbers. Okay, so in this example, we're looking at a typical home that uses approximately 40 kilowatt hours of total energy per day. 15 kilowatt hours of that usage happens during the peak rate window. Now, for this example, let's assume an on-peak rate of electricity of 50 cents per kilowatt hour and an off-peak rate of 20 cents per kilowatt hour, meaning that there's a difference of 30 cents per kilowatt hour, 30 cents per kilowatt hour extra that the homeowner would have to pay for any consumption that happens during that window. So if we have 15 kilowatt hours of usage during the peak window times 30 cents difference times 365 days per year, 
that's $1,643 extra per year that the homeowner is paying just because of the time at which that energy is being consumed. So what if we add a battery to the equation? Now in today's example, we're looking at the Blue Eddy EP800 solar and battery system with three of the B500 battery units, which would get us to that full 15 kilowatt hours of storage. Now, as of now, pricing for the unit is $83.99 after the federal tax credit incentive. And the net cost of the installation is about $17.50, again, after the 30% tax credit incentive, giving a total investment cost of the solar and battery system of $10,149. Now, again, we're not even talking about solar power generation. We're simply just talking about the ability to consume that 15 kilowatt hours from the battery so we don't have to purchase it from the utility during those peak rate hours. And so in this case, essentially the system pays for itself in 6.2 years, or in terms of return on investment, you're looking at a 16.2% return on investment. In other words, 16% of the system cost is paid every year in the form of energy savings just by shifting how and when that energy is being consumed so we can avoid the peak rate penalties. So is it worth it? Well, again, it really comes down to how you choose to have your solar installed. Do you wanna hire a high priced solar contractor that might charge you a two times or three times markup? Or do you prefer to go a self-directed install where you can purchase all the equipment directly and then just make use of a licensed electrician or a qualified electrician to make the final high voltage connections where necessary. And that's a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, Blue Eddy and the EP800 solar and battery storage system. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy storage system that you can install by yourself and save thousands of dollars compared to hiring a contractor, then you need to take a look at the new Blue Eddy EP800. The EP800 is a modular, stackable, all-in-one solar and battery backup solution incorporating a solar inverter, MPPT charge controllers, LFP battery cells, and intelligent battery management system. The major components stack together like blocks and all the necessary cables are pre-cut and color-coded to enable super fast installation. EP800 offers modes for peak load shifting and self-consumption to maximize return on your battery investment. So if you're serious about becoming energy independent and you want to save thousands compared to hiring a full service solar company, then click the link in the description below. We have a special discount for you as well as other helpful resources to guide you through the entire process of going solar. Thank you Blue Eddy for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video. Now again, the reason that many homeowners are choosing to do a self-directed installation where they purchase the equipment directly and hire the contractor only for the portions of the installation that require a licensed professional is because it allows them to get the total cost of the installation much, much lower than hiring a traditional full service solar contractor. Um, by the way, if you didn't see our previous video on the new way to install solar, no contractors, uh, go back and watch the previous video where we actually do a hands-on review and installation of the Blue Eddy system so you can see just how easy this equipment fits together. Now, of course, the other issue we've been dealing with in the industry this year is the high rate of contractor business failures. And so not only would you pay a much higher price hiring a full service solar company, but there's still, I would say, about a 50-50 chance that that contractor is going to go out of business sometime in the next 25 years while the system is going to be under warranty, meaning that you may then have to go out and hire another contractor to provide maintenance and repairs down the road. And so again, that's why many people are choosing to go the self-directed route where you can purchase the equipment directly, perhaps even purchase a couple of spare parts directly, and then make use of a licensed electrician or a licensed roofer to help you where needed. So again, Blue Eddy is sponsoring today's video. We also have a special discount code for you. So if you're interested in the Blue Eddy EP800 system, make sure you check the link in the description below where you can use the Solar Surge discount code to get the lowest possible pricing on EP800. Again, uh, you as a potential owner can order all of the equipment directly and then hire the contractor of your choice to help with the high voltage and the parts of the installation that require a licensed professional. Well, folks, this has been a discussion of how fast do solar batteries pay for themselves. Hey, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up 
Uh, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with everything. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home, if you're not quite sure if you wanna go the self-directed route, if you'd like to get quotes from a full service contractor, um, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. Uh, you can either set up a call with a solar surge expert or just use the free online quote tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Well, that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.